What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. I think this is day four this female has been in this lay box. Um, Looks like she keep continue, keep on trying to um, dig, but uh, um, they keep collapsing on her, so she hasn't laid yet. Um, she's taking so long that this female is getting ready as well, so I have to set her up a lay box. But what I'm going to do is put this inside of here under the soil so she has a solid place to um, lay eggs. So what I'm going to do is submerge this under the soil, stuff some soil inside of there, and leave a little gap so she can go inside of that hole, dig in there, and feel like she's built a, built a cavity. And then that way uh, she feels safe to lay her eggs. Um, the sooner you get them to lay the eggs, the better. Because when, when they're full of eggs, most of the time they're not going to be eating. So right now I'm going to take her out. I'm going to rinse her off. Let her, uh, I'm going to let her hydrate. This is a mother that was bred to the um, monster red male. So the, the monster, the half monster red babies I have, this is the mother. So I'm going to turn her off, get the dirt off of her, and then I'm going to let her sit in here and soak. And then let her hydrate and stuff like that. And while she's doing that, I'm going to be redoing the... Redoing the lay box. So I'm going to add some more water. Mix it up. Because this is still pretty moist right here. Like, See, it's still holding. It just, for some reason, has been breaking apart on her. I don't know if she's trying to dig in too many places or what's going on. I don't have the luxury to stay here and watch her like I would like to do. And I don't have uh, Wi-Fi here right now to set up my camera and see exactly what the problem is. But it is breaking off pretty easy, even though it's to the right consistency. So I'll just add a little bit more water and then we're just going to add this, this little hut to it. What I'm going to do is dig all the way down. We'll probably paste it towards the corner. I want to add an angle a little bit, so actually I'm going to just let it go all the way down. And she might lay on the other back side of it, but any structure is good. Uh, ideally, she'll lay inside of the thing, but sometimes they lay on the outside of it. Sometimes I just need to feel cramped up to release eggs, so let's try to get that done. Try to conceal this as much as possible. Put dirt inside of it so she can feel like she excavated it. And when I reintroduce her, I'm going to put her head right there so she knows there's a hole right there. Hopefully we have eggs by tomorrow. And even the dirt around it, I'm going to pack down just in case she digs in a different place. Let's go and get her. Let's 
too wet in that thirsty because sometimes you're when you um, have a problem with them laying eggs and you take them out and to soak them in the bathroom. Hopefully it's not a good egg. So yeah, sometimes you um, take them out to, to drink and they drink right away because they've been thirsty. So if you have one that's already stopped eating, put it in a lay box and have it laid. Just make sure you're gonna you uh, take them out to soak and uh, get a chance to hydrate in between the days. I'm not going to dry her off or anything. I'm just going to put her right here. Put her head in there so she knows it's a cavity right there. And then I'll leave her be. This girl's been in there for the, um, a day now, but she started losing weight, so and she's not eating. So hopefully she hurry up to drop her eggs as well so she can get back on food. Probably buy some pinky mice for them. Oh, and that one egg that from the um, Hypo Zeros, the surprise ones, it still hasn't hatched. I think I'm going to pop it open. I'll probably cut it open tomorrow to see what's going on. It's been... Uh, on the 2nd, and it's currently the 8th, so it's just 6 days late. Um, but that clutch due to hatch in a couple of days. That's a uh, hybrid to China Red, so hybrid Monster Red. And then that one a day after. Two days, three days after. The 18th and then the 15th. So both of those should be hatching within the next two weeks. This one is going bad by the day. I think, so. I think that male has... Uh, little sperm count or something. And then DMD has another clutch with one more female. Most of those eggs were bad when they were laid, so she actually laid them in the cage and I caught them late. Those are the last ones that were good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll keep you guys updated on the female's progress on, on laying her eggs. Right now she's sunbathing. Once she warm up, she probably start digging. I hope she go back to that spot that I showed her. And that way she can feel like she built a nice den to lay her eggs in. And tomorrow we come into some eggs. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, if you guys are going to Anaheim show, I think I'm going to make it down there. I don't know if I'm going to rent a car or go get my car service or whatever. But I do need to go buy some supplies there. I like to buy them at the shows. You usually get a good discount. Um, even better than Amazon, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's the girl. She can hurry up and lay. Till next video, you guys have a good one. I'm out. Peace.